Hi, my name is Stephanie Sheen, and we're gonna talk about liver transplants for alcoholics. So for the last 40 years, transplant surgeries have been a huge success. They have saved countless uh, numbers of lives, and um, but with liver transplants for alcoholics, it has always been controversial and still kind of still kind of is. Um, so why is that? Alcoholics. We have this negative outlook on alcoholism. Our society has looked down on it um, for years. We look at, look at them as less than, um, not worthy, um, not worthy of the second chance, the life-saving surgery that we can offer them. Um, and other uh, times we, we uh, want them to prove themselves, um, which is something we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, so uh, uh, one of the um, things that people tend to say with the um, controversial issue for alcoholics is that they did it to themselves. Yes, they did. But we can also see other scenarios where this is the truth as well. So uh, a lung, uh, lung cancer patient comes in have, after having smoked for years and years they did that to themselves. We would never deny them um, medical treatment. That just sounds crazy, right? Well, someone jumps off a bridge. We, uh, we would never deny them uh, medical treatment, and they definitely did that to themselves. So, this this uh, idea that we have that that with alcoholics just really doesn't make any sense anymore, especially now that we've come so far in um, in our knowledge of how al alcoholism works and how it uh, affects our brain activity. It, it's a disease. So why would we ever deny uh, anyone medical treatment for this issue? So another problem with this, organs are limited. It's a resource that's extremely limited, and that's something that you and I, the public, we can really make a difference on this. Um, we can all um, sign up to be organ donors um, and encourage our friends and families to do so. Um, it's something that could change a life. It could save a life. It could save more than one life. Um, a lot of times, um, organs go to several different people at the same time. It truly is amazing amazing. So, um, yes, the organs are limited. So on an average, three people die every day waiting, um, uh, for an organ. Now this isn't just liver. This is everybody, uh, waiting rooms. I mean, uh, waiting lists, um, are long and extensive and people a lot of times just can't make it that long. Um, so how do we decide who gets the liver? Who gets the the liver? Who? How do we prioritize this list? Well, there's a couple of stages to this. Um, when you are assessed at the hospital, you come. They come up with a MELD score for you. It's M E L D. It is an a culmination of all of your um, lab results. So this shows. This gives a number to. Uh, your status showing how sick you really are. So uh, you have a 20, a number 20 meld score. You're sick, but you can wait a little bit longer. You've got a 40 meld score. You're you could die at any minute without a new liver. You're done. Your your the liver you have is done. It's not functioning anymore. You need something done quickly. So how do we decide? Who gets it first? Okay, UNOS is a national organization that does a lot of work with um, organ transplants, and their number one rule: the sickest person gets the organ first. So that would be how, across the board, every all different kinds of organs doesn't matter. Sickest person, so that would be the highest MELD score, the 40 MELD score would be number one. And then so on, go down, they get it first. Okay, well, it, it, that sounds simple enough. Well, it can't be simple when it comes to alcoholics. <laughs> so 
So we make it a little harder on them because we're still trying to get them to prove their worth to us. Um, there is a six month sobriety rule. It used to be across the board. It's not anymore. People are realizing that this, this isn't quite fair, but, um, a, a lot of times insurance companies will not cover your surgery unless you are sober for six months before your transplant. So, um, uh, people are working hard to 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 change this this uh, to change this yes because people are dying. What's happening is people are going into the hospital. They've got that 40 mild score, so they need to be at the top of the list. So, um, say okay, well, you've got to do this six months sobriety before we can get you on the list. But once you get on the list, you'll be number one and you'll get one quickly. They don't make it six months. They can't make it six months. They are, they're already to the point where their body will not function for six months. So that is a problem that needs to be solved. And um, family members are bringing this up. It's obviously it's happening a lot and it, it there, it's working on being changed. So that's good. Okay, um, hospital committee decides who gets on the list. Um, and there are some that probably could have the 40 uh, MELD score that don't get on the list. If they don't have family members by their bedside, um, showing that they have support, um, showing that they haven't alienated themselves from their entire family, they will have someone helping them take care, take care of them after they leave, um, after they leave the hospital. This is a huge, huge surgery. You got to know that they have a support system. So, bottom line in all of this is uh, we need to change the way we see, the way we view alcoholism, and we all need to sign up to be organ donors. Thank you.